Hi guys, you're yeah, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take body measurements on this mannequin. So the first thing I want you to know is that if you want to measure your short gown length, you should measure it at the front. So here is me taking the measurement from the shoulder to where I want it to reach. Now, the next thing I'm going to measure, I'm going to show you how to measure is your bust. So if you want to measure your bust, you don't have to make tip. You don't have to make the measure it tape, you don't have to make it tight. So you have to reduce it like you give it like two inches breathing space. So this is how you do it. So you take it up and down in order to know, okay. Then the next thing I'm measuring is my under bust circumference. This one you have to make it tight. Then I'm going on to my waist. You also have to make the waist circumference. You have to make it tight also. Look at it. Now for the hips, the same thing applied to the bust. The same thing applied to the bust applied to the hips. You don't have to make it tight. You have to leave two inches for ease, like so. Yes, you have to make two inches for ease, like so. Then the next thing I'm going to be measuring is my bust point. I'm going to take it from the shoulder point to the point of my bust. That is the nipple. I'm going to take it from the shoulder point to the nipple point and then the nipple to nipple from one nipple to another like so. Yes. And then the next thing I'm going to be measuring is the under bust. You have to make it under. Take the measuring tape from the shoulder point to under your bust. Look at it. I'm taking it from the shoulder point to under my bust like so. Yes, look at it. I'm taking it from the shoulder point to under my bust like so. The next thing I want to do is to measure, show you how to take the a full length measurement so you want to measure a full gown measurement full length you have to take it from the back you have to take it from the shoulder points then all the way down like so and then the next one to measure is the shoulder the back or the shoulder so look at it i'm taking it over the and yes, i'm taking it over that bone that pointed bone at the back look at it Yes, I'm taking it like that. Then to measure the sleeve, I'll take it from where the shoulder measurement ends and then take it all the way down to where my sleeves is going to come. Like so, it's going to be three quarter, it's going to be short, it's going to be long. And then the round sleeve measurement, you don't have to make it too tight. You have to like give like one inch for ease. Like so, look at it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So, yes, here I am measuring my round sleeve measurements, taking my round sleeve measurements like so. So, now the next thing I'm, I want to measure is to show you how to measure your trouser length. You don't have to take it like this, it is wrong to take your trouser measurement like this. Instead, you need to take it at the side. So, I'm going to be showing you a clearer um view of this so i'm just going to tilt my mannequin like like i'm going to tilt my mannequin in order to show you how to take the proper trouser length measurement so you have to take it on the side look at it you have to take it on the side not at the front now to take your waist to hip measurement you just take it from the waist to where you want your hips to be it could be high waist it could be low waist just know where you want your waist to be and then take it from there to where your hip point is now the next thing i want to show you how to measure is your tie you don't have to make it too tight you don't have to make it tight you need you need a space for ease so you have to like extend your measurement like by one inch for the tie now 
the next thing is to show you how to measure your knee circumference so you have to make take like one inch is and then your ankle circumference like so also like one inch is thank you for watching